As COVID-19 case numbers, hospitalizations, and ICU numbers stabilize and begin to recede, our public health restrictions can gradually and safely begin to be relaxed. We can all look forward to putting the pandemic behind us and begin to take steps towards getting our lives back. Our public health officials believe that while COVID-19 may not be entirely eradicated anytime soon, it will eventually level off to an endemic state. This would mean our communities would largely return to something like normal again, as vaccination continues and greater immunity takes hold in the majority of the world's population. There is no diminishing or understating the tragedy of COVID-19 around the world. More than 12,000 Ontario residents have died. Millions have been exposed and fallen ill, an untold number needing hospital care. The restrictions that have been necessary to save lives and protect our health care system from being overwhelmed have had an enormous cost for many sectors of our economy and have affected the mental health of all of us. While the vast majority of our population has been vaccinated, a small percentage has been unwilling or unable to accept public health advice. But we must not give up on them. It goes without saying that we are all tired of the pandemic. It also goes without saying that as much as we wish it was over, it is not. Nevertheless, the rule of law must still be observed and those who break the law will face consequences. But there is light at the end of this wretched tunnel. We are getting there. I continue to be amazed by the resilience of our essential workers and in particular, our healthcare workers. The empathy that they have shown for all of us needs to be returned with expressions of gratitude. This is how hope is planted, how it takes root, and how it blooms. While the stresses of the restrictions have been amplified by some divisive voices on social media, we cannot allow the bonds of society to fray, even as we gain the upper hand on COVID-19. We need to remember, we are almost there. I am reminded of the immortal words of St. Francis of Assisi. Where there is discord, may we bring harmony. Where there is error, may we bring truth. Where there is doubt, may we bring faith. And where there is despair, may we bring hope. In our time, we have endured. Together, we will build again. Let us begin.